Here's a message for our blended families. Um, I have three kids. I have an older daughter who's older. I have uh, two younger kids. And my first child was not from my wife. And so I became a parent very early in, in very early in life and wasn't married. We never got married. And uh, so um, her mom got married to someone else. And so I, I was like the baby baby's daddy. That's what they called us back then. And um, it was tough. Um, it was tough because for me, my perspective was I didn't think she needed me as much. Um, her parents were both engineers. They made a lot of money. They lived in a big house. Um, my daughter had a cell phone before I did, like an iPhone. I'm sorry, I had an iPhone before I did. And I just felt like I didn't measure up. I felt like I didn't, um, I couldn't compete with them. And I remember specifically one day she actually called and said, hey, can I call him dad? And uh, I had to really think about that because, you know, it wasn't her fault. She had two stepbrothers in the home or two stepsisters in the home. No, half sisters in the home, excuse me. And um, everybody called him dad. And he was a good man. I mean, he took care of my daughter um, like he like she was his. And I respected him a lot. Still do respect him. And so at that moment when she asked me, could she, could she call him dad? Um, most guys would be like, no, you know, I'm your daddy. And I realized she didn't put herself in that situation. We did. You know, the choices we made put her in the situation. So I said, yeah. And then her little cute, I forgot how she was. She was really young. She says, he can, he's my dad, but you're my father, you know? And so, um, it was, it was a pretty good relationship, but I still felt less than, I felt like I didn't matter as much. Um, and that's not true. Um, and later in life, my daughter and we sat down and she said to me, like, she felt like it was an open adoption. Like I was there and I knew, but I wasn't engaged. And I, I, I would admit that was one thing I really regret because I didn't, I didn't believe that she needed me. I didn't believe that. Um, I don't know why. I, I just didn't know why. I felt felt bad, first of all, because it, things didn't work out the way I wish they would have worked out. Um, and so I'm, I'm telling you the story because I made a video about uh, what I think the most important thing is for parents to do, and that's to show up. And I know what it feels like not to show up. And I know that, um, and give me, don't get me wrong, I, did, I wasn't a deadbeat dad. I, I was around, but I just wasn't fully engaged the way I should have been because I was comparing myself to to, to them. Um, I was comparing myself to their situation and not realizing that my daughter didn't care about how much money I made. She didn't care about, um, any of those things that I thought mattered. She wanted to be with her dad. She, and she loved him too. I mean, she has a great relationship with him too. And she, she wanted both of us in her lives. And I can, so if I look back and say, as a parent, what is something I regret? I regret, um, not showing up and engaging as much as I could because I spent too much time comparing myself to um, her stepdad and her mom and, and their house versus what I had to offer. So I hope that's encouragement to you um, that, that the idea of showing up, and there's two points in there, show up, do your best, no matter what situation you're in, you're in blended family, your stepdad, um, whatever situation, stepmom, you're, you're, you know, you're, whatever the case may be, um, your baby's mama, baby's daddy. Um, if you're not with the biological parent of your child, I think you still need to show up. I think they need you to show up. And let me just, I just say, I've worked with so many kids over the years and I see just some of the um, bitterness between the two, um, the, the biological mom and dad. And I think that makes the kids suffer even more. Um, I, I, I'm very grateful to say that we didn't have any of that bitterness. We didn't fight like that. We didn't have any altercations. Um, and I, I'm blessed by that. But I think that's something that, that parents we need to work on. If you're in that situation, um, I was taught, you know, that I should always honor the mother of my child, even if we're not together. Um, and somebody said, especially cause she's a girl, cause you want her to see how a woman should be treated. Um, and so I just think that's, that's really important. So, um, show up. And then number two, um, there's no win in comparison. Don't compare yourself to other people, to other, to other parents, or even if you're in this blended, um, family thing to the other parents or even other parents outside of your relationship, you look down the street and see somebody else. You're like, Oh, they got it. They got it going on. No, you don't know what's going on with them. And so um, I'm just sharing that story to share with you that, uh, it's a very, very important, no matter what situation you're in to show up and showing up is a choice. And like I always say, when you make better choices, you will live a better life in this situation. So will your kids. So choose well. Oh yeah.